Hey Leo, welcome to the channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope y'all are doing amazing. Let's get into this reading for my Leo Collective. We are going to use the Sex Magic deck, which I do not pull out enough. And we're going to use the Truth Is as well as the Tarot. So let's see what's going on with my Leos. I'm just going to pull one of these, okay? Okay, what do we have here? Ooh, <laughs> We have fulfillment. I can't show the card because they are naked. Hmm. We have fulfillment. Number 35. Some of you could be 35. Excuse me. You could be 35 or um, maybe someone that you're connected to is or that number could be significant. This is a Lilith, Moon, Dark Side, Scorpio, Sex, and Death card. Okay. Intense femininity, orgasm, be uninhibited, and nature doesn't judge. So this is embracing, I about to show the card anyway. This is about embracing that dark feminine energy, that really sensual, seductive kind of side of yourself. I don't think y'all can see that card. Hopefully not because her booty cheeks is out and I ain't trying to lose monetization. So we'll have to see what this is because this dark feminine might be the MF that keep coming through your readings is trying to seduce a person that's interested in you. That could be you, though. Maybe you're tapping into your dark feminine energy. Some of you may be really attracted to someone. There could be a new connection here that is really, um, you know, the passion is really through the roof. It's intense or something is intensifying. We have the future. Becoming clear about your vision of the future. Okay. I'm single, enjoying the single life. Okay. Missing you, longing to be with you again. Leo, this might be your ex. I'm wondering if all this time this is your ex that's coming through. Look at what's on the bottom of the deck. Temptation. Libra energy. Libra sun energy. Resist impulse and use amethyst. Some of you need to get some amethyst. The crystal amethyst. The name that I always forget is the purple one. I always forget what it's called. For some reason, I want to make it start with an L so bad. But it's called an amethyst. So, okay. Wow, third party. I just showed y'all that temptation with the third party here. Oh, I don't know if you have the third party or they do. It says a third part party interfering with your relationship. I wish this person would just get alive. Guarded, closed heart is holding your relationships back. Some of you could be losing interest in someone that you saw a promise with because of the drama that comes along with their baby mama, baby daddy, ex-husband, ex-wife, their ex. Some of you may be thinking, maybe I'm better off by myself. I mean, you're coming across as someone who is extremely self-reliant, um, self-sufficient, independent. Some of you could be on the Leo Virgo cusp. I'm seeing Virgo here. I'm seeing Aries. I'm seeing Scorpio. I'm seeing Libra. Yeah. So any of these signs could be in your chart or your person's chart. I want to get another tarot deck. Hold on, y'all. Okay, I'm going to use my out of hand deck to see what's going on with this madness. What is this future becoming clear about your vision of the future? Some of you are also getting some kind of aha moment, a bright idea about something. You have clarity of mind about something. You're really intelligent. Okay, this could be in the way of work. Some of you could work with flowers or horticulture or um, herbs or something like that. It could be a natural path. We have the Nine of Swords. Okay, that's Gemini energy. And we have the Star. Aquarius energy. September the 17th could be significant or you could be born on the 9th or the 17th. I feel like some of you could be losing hope and a really promising connection because of this external influence. Or this could be someone you're connected to who feels this way about an ex in your energy. There's like a lot of thinking, a lot of thinking, 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 even like staying up at night. Somebody is even working a lot at night, maybe studying or working. 
somebody so focused on their money or their career or some other obligation that this relationship might end up taking a back seat here. Although it's such a beautiful, promising connection, somebody's trying to block somebody from healing and moving on is what I see. And it's like you may just be submitting to, okay, well, maybe not right now. Maybe we can't pull this off right now because of this external influence. Somebody is messy and miserable and pathetic. They are. Look, I'm enjoying the single life. Well, that was quick. You got the Knight of Wands in reverse. That's somebody that loves being single with the Ace, Ace of Wands. Some of you may feel like you just want to have fun right now. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, that's you probably. Or that could be the person you're connected to. Like I said, if you are the one with the problematic ex, somebody might be feeling like, okay, well, let me just go and play around until I can actually be with the person I want to be with. There's someone who wants to be with you or you want to be with, but somebody is standing in the way and it looks like somebody might be conceding. Like, you know, I don't want to fight this fight. That can be draining. I've been in a situation like that. Toxic ex-wives and husbands and baby mamas and baby daddies are a thing. And I would never, ever, ever put myself in that situation again, but I have been in that situation. And it's not like you go into it knowing that, and it's not even necessarily the other person's fault that you're connected to. Sometimes people are really just toxic and they will not let people go, especially when they had those on again, off again relationships with the ex and they're used to being able to come back in and grab that person from whomever they're dealing with. Not when they deal with me. Ain't nobody, I have never been in no situation where no woman could pull no man away from me. I just never experienced that. And I'm not saying that it couldn't ever happen, but it has never happened. I don't even think it could happen. I don't because I don't typically align myself seriously with people who would do something like that. And I feel like even if she, the ex person would feel like, you know, that would be the case, that wouldn't necessarily be the case either. It's just that something has fizzled out. Something is no longer growing, thriving. And if it ain't growing, it's dead. So let it go. That's what I feel like some of you are saying. Some of you have lost your, your desire for this. It's like there's still physical attraction, but it could be a turnoff, a big, big turnoff that somebody got a, a problematic ex. Like who really wants to deal with that? And it's, it looks like, you know, somebody is sitting around, maybe even drinking, thinking about you. She's drinking coffee or tea, but the point is trying to calm their nerves. And that could even be with something that's not coffee or tea, but it says they're longing to be with you again. What is this? The Page of Pentacles. That's relationship renewal, y'all. They're trying to use a common sense approach. They feel like you are a golden opportunity. You are that golden ticket. How can I... This is a person who really is loyal and dependable. They're seeing you this way. Maybe you met this person at work or school. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody is just focused on work. With the Nine of Cups. Yeah. Pisces energy. So it's like if I could rub the genie in the bottle, I mean the bottle and, and, you know, ask the genie to grant me a wish. Leo is everything I need. Or you're feeling this way about this person. But it's like it's almost, it's almost really heartbreaking. Because it's like this is your ideal person. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know. Hmm. Show me third party. Because the Nine of Cups talks about feeling content. It talks about your wish fulfillment. It talks about being really, really happy. I feel like this person hasn't been, been themselves since you two have stopped talking. I feel like they're focusing on work. Or that could be you. Focusing on work and just trying to make do. But still longing. Still missing you. So we got judgment here with the third party, Scorpio energy with the page of wands. Yeah. Um, I told y'all in one of your previous readings that there was some sexting going on or some messaging to your person. And I think the judgment card came out with the page of wands in that deck. And that was a completely different deck. So this is just basically confirmation from spirit that I feel like your person is rejecting this person. I feel like this person keeps trying to renew this relationship, but this person that you're connected to or you, um, the per whomever has the toxic ex, has already learned their lesson. Page of one, a page of pentacles I see as learning a lesson. I just said that someone, I think I said it, I was thinking it if I didn't say it, but somebody learned a lesson here. And I feel like somebody's just 
laser focused on making money on work or whatever it might be and there's someone in your energy or your person's energy that keeps trying to flirt keeps trying to send messages or get in touch or whatever communicate and it's flirtatious it's inappropriate but this person's judgment is here this is your higher self this is to me your north node energy so i'm seeing leo aries um sagittarius could be younger and then scorpio energy Now, remember it said here, be uninhibited. Nature doesn't judge. Scorpio, right? The dark side. That's that feminine energy trying to seduce him, that third party. Look at this. Purposely putting lipstick on his, on his collar to make you think that, you see how he's pointing towards the lipstick, like bring your attention to like he's doing something wrong. Maybe texting and copying and pasting and finagling stuff to make it look like they're having certain conversations that they're not your person doesn't want them or you don't want your ex but this person won't stop and there could be children involved where you can't completely cut the person off cold turkey look at that emperor this person is your divine masculine they're in their emperor energy and they want to invest in you look at this this person is dead to them they don't want them there's a strong scorpio here that's hanging out making a mess look at him packing up and leaving aries energy with the empress they want to be with you your counterpart. This is divine masculine and divine feminine. Some of you could be pregnant by this person or you may find yourselves pregnant. New beginning. They're ready for something brand new. Y'all could be moving in together. Somebody trying to keep them stuck. Somebody playing with them, threatening them with uh, child support or things like that. Whoever they're dealing with or whoever you were dealing with is very, very toxic. That is all I can tell you. The same message keeps coming out over and over again. And your story hasn't been this. Your story has been more about you like leaving an ex. So this could be that things are progressing in a new relationship and your ex is just up in the ante or you're connected to someone or attracting someone who has that kind of baggage. And it's so sad. I don't think it's their fault. I don't. I feel like they try everything to handle this in a diplomatic way. I told you this person is diplomatic and you're just dealing with someone. They are. Or you, I don't know. And um, yeah, that person just doesn't let go. All right, y'all, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next time. Peace.